Hey, what's up guys? Zero One here, and today I'm going to be speaking to you about the film Saving Private Ryan. And uh, bear with me, I, I want to, you know, tell you the names of all the cast members. So, and I'll explain why I need to tell you all the cast members. Okay, starting with Tom Hanks, Matt Dillon, Tom uh, Sizemore, Vin Diesel, Edward Burns, Barry Pepper, Adam Goldberg, uh, Giovanni uh, Ribisi, Jeremy Davis, Brian Cranston, Brian Hurst, uh, Nathaniel Fillion, uh, Dale Dye, Paul Giamatti, Andrew Scott, Ted Danson, Dennis Farina, Max uh, Martini, Leland Orser, uh, Harvey Presnell, uh, George Stadler, D uh, Dylan Bruno, Victor Burke, Vincent Walsh, Laird, uh, Laird McIntosh, Neil Finningham, uh, Raf Raffaello De Grotto De Grottola, uh, Harrison Young, Martin Hub, Mark Cass, Kathleen Byron, uh, Dimitri Gortissas, Gor uh, Anna McGuire, uh, Nigel Whitme, Whitme John uh, Sharon, Ian Porter, Eric Lauren, uh, Stephen Cor Cornicard, uh, Rob Freeman, Shane Johnson, and Stephen uh, Groth. Groth guard. And the reason why uh, I, I, I'm, you know, naming all these cast members is because each and every one of them delivered in, in, in the performances. This film, Steven Spielberg just, you know, outdid himself because for many of the World War, World War film, uh, this film captures the realism of, you know, war and the effects of war. And Tom Hanks, who plays uh, Captain Miller, has to lead his rangers into enemy lines to save this one individual who was Private Ryan. And the entire story, the way it was filmed, the way it was uh, portrayed and acted, it was just done, you know, phenomenal. The cinematography in this film was brilliant. Uh, the the greediness, the the environment, the the effects of war that it has on the land and not just the land and architects of buildings but also uh with the men the way uh the 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 effects that it has on the civilian population it was it was just steven spielberg captured all of that in this one film and tom hanks one thing that i noticed with great and awesome performances is when you look at their eyes the actor and when they're they're acting towards the camera you just you just see that you know you just like for example Tom Hanks character you see the heaviness you see the 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 weight on him and you also see kind of like that um you know that he's he's kind of like you know trying his best to lead his man and 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 completing their mission and the thing is that this mission is is something that half of them don't want to do because they they, they think to themselves and they think to the entire, you know, group and says, hey, this is not really worth it because how are we going to be risking our lives for this one individual? Come on, seriously, there's eight of us and there's only one, one, of this, one of these private Ryan individuals. Come on. And later on throughout the film, you see their journey. You see how they uh, go behind enemy lines and they uh, go up against even odd, odd forces where it's like there's no possible way they can actually... You know when but still this film has an amazing heart um, everybody did an amazing job you know how that that saying that says um, you know everybody has their 15 minutes of fame or 15 minutes of, of actually nowadays more like 15 seconds but each and every character in this film uh, the, the, the the actors delivered uh, they didn't overpower their their performance so they could get you know notice it felt right in the each and every scene and they all did an amazing job, every, each and every one of them. Brian Cranston, he was only there for like a couple of, you know, minutes, max five minutes. And he did a, a really good performance. He really did. Like when he delivered, uh, when he gets that message that all these, you know, brothers in arms who are related are, are dead and there's only one left and it's Private Ryan. You, you see that kind of like, you know, that... Oh snap, man! This is this is bad. I mean, this is real bad. Uh, and he kind of you get that fear from him, and then he goes to his superior, and then he, they get that that order that they have to get Private Ryan. 
Vin Diesel. I mean, I'm not a big Vin Diesel fan, but you know, when I saw Vin Diesel and he's a, uh, you know, the way he was speaking to uh, Adam uh, Goldburn's uh, character, which is actually his character's name is Private Mil Milish. Um, they, you see that camaraderie, you see that bond, you see that kind of like brothers in arms type of thing, kind of like you know, we we have each other's backs. And uh, I just I loved each and every person's performance, even the the minor characters. I was blown away with their their portrayal of their their characters. Uh, Paul Giamatti, Paul Giamatti. I mean, he only comes out like in a couple of minutes, and <laughs> you you see the way he 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 speaks. He has that that nineteen fifties or nineteen forties type of accent, where you know, uh, like. Um, like uh, you know those kind of old detective films, yeah. Like you know that uh, the the accent of kind of like f the Jersey or Brooklyn area type, you know, type of like that. He has that. I was blown away with uh, the dialogue. Uh, there's one part where um, uh, the the company starts uh, bickering and arguing with one another, and the way that uh, Captain Miller settles settles him down, uh, he just. Uh, it's it's very um, you know heartfelt you know you you feel for the losses you feel for their pains you feel like you know these guys want to get back home and Tom Hanks uh, Tom Hanks Tom Hanks character uh, he just you know leads them in a in a very awesome way and he brings that humanity uh, to them also just like uh, Giovanni uh, Giovanni's character which is the medic from any other place I've seen him at. This is this is like the film that he shines. I mean, he does an amazing performance. Uh, one of his best performances that I ever seen in my, in my entire existence. And I was surprised, I was shocked that he, after this film, he, he didn't get more um, parts uh, to, to act in because when you see the camera roll on him and you see his eyes, um, you know, he just, man, he, he, like, he just brings you in. <laughs> Um, it, it was it was a beautiful story. I, I thank so much, and I I, I really th appreciate Steven Spielberg not glorifying war, but you know, showing to the audience that this isn't something you know to really be a proud of, or or this isn't something that you would want your own kids or your own family members to go through. But I, I do appreciate the the veterans. I, I appreciate the the soldiers that fought in World War Two. I mean, uh, to go through something like that, seeing your own, uh, seeing your own uh, uh, members, you know, dying and losing limbs, it, it's something that you know, it's a, it was a shocker watching the film, but it was, it was worth it to watch it because it really brought home to the audience that freedom comes with a price. It does come with a price, and um, these these guys who are just in, who are 18, 19, 20 years old, there's these just young guys. You know, um, went out there and, and fought for that. And even though they didn't get a chance to, some of them didn't get a chance to come back home and see the the results. You know, their 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 actions wasn't in vain. You know, what they did over there wasn't in vain. It was it was worth it. And I know some people may say, well, <clears throat> you know, I, I disagree with war. I mean, I think we shouldn't go into war, but I mean, what other what other alternative did the the people at at that time, did the United States, did the Brits, did the French have? I mean, there's no other way. If nobody would have stood up to Hitler, I mean, people right now in Europe would be speaking German right now. So uh, it really shows you that you know, war isn't glamorous. It's not something like you know you can say that oh, it's awesome. Uh, but at the same time, there's certain times, like the Bible says, there's a time and place for everything. There's a time to, to cry. There's a time to, to laugh. There's a time to fight. There's a time to, to not fight. And there's a time to, you know, for everything. And at this point in time in history, you know, the United States uh, rose up to, to the call. And they did, uh, I think they did the right, the, the, the made the right choice at that time, you know, to, to stand up against, you know, Hitler and, uh, and the Nazis. But uh, that's my review of uh, Saving Private Ryan. Um, everything was awesome about this film. I have no negatives. Uh, I thank you so much for all the vets uh, throughout time and history. 
that they 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 lay down their lives not just for their own you know troops their own you know company but they also lay down their lives for other people in other nations and especially over here in this part of the world where uh, so many of us have freedoms and liberties that uh, they died for basically you know and you know, thank you so much for listening to speak to you about Private Ryan. 